Hi everyone! I'm just going to do a quick video showing you how to make a um, snowflake that you can hang from anything. I'm going to show you how to make it really quick. There's a whole bunch that I did. I did them in a bunch of different sizes and I did that with fill tool but that's not really part of this. So you're going to want some um, ribbon or some way to hang your snowflake and we're going to take this piece of scrap that I have of just simple white cardstock that I got from Walmart. They have them in a big pack for only five dollars. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. They're kitty sisters and they don't act like sisters. <laughs> or I guess maybe they really actually do. So I'm going to keep the bottom part that I'm not going to use all the way at the bottom. And I'm going to take my scraper and I'm just going to kind of help it adhere. I haven't cleaned my mat in a few days, so it's a little bit not quite as sticky as I'd like. All right. So then we're going to open. Oops. I'm going to open the dust cover and I'm going to lift up the screen. Let's come over here to the screen. Oh, giant orb in the room. <laughs> Oops, let's turn it on. Okay, and let's hit the home button. Okay. Um, I don't want to retrieve the memory, so I'm going to just go to pattern, and I'm going to go right straight to that. Let's see if we can just get the screen really nice. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go right in here to the, oh wait, no, not the holiday ones. I'm going to go up here because that's where the snowflakes are going to be. So I've already done this first snowflake. I'm going to go ahead and do this second snowflake, and I want to make it really big. But I know about nine inches is about how much I have before it hits that little spot that was cut off. So let's just go with that for now. Okay, we just want one of them. We're going to hit set and then we're going to click add. And every time that I need my stylus, I have no idea where it's at. Okay, we're going to add pattern. And then we're going to come over here to the shapes. We're going to look for this circle right there. And we're going to make it really small. Okay, set. Okay, so now we're going to take this. Let's move that over there. Let's go ahead and grab that little circle. We're going to put it right up here in kind of the spire of things. Okay, and it looks like maybe it needs to be a little bit smaller. So let's go up here, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, okay. So let's grab it, put it in there. It's kind of hard to do without the stylus. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so it's right in the middle. And I'm going to click OK. Oops, not OK. <laughs> and I'm going to go back over here and I click this to add them all together. Oh, no, wait. I don't know why I clicked that. Okay, so just that one on the right. And then I'm going to click this down here. And it's going to fuse everything together. It's going to group it. Click OK, and now it's all one piece. So now I'm going to put it back up in my corner. Click OK, and let's add a test cut because I was cutting vinyl last with it. So let's set this test cut down here for the bottom because it's just easier for me to reach. I don't have to unload the mat. So let's click OK, and then let's get our mat loaded up. 
Okay. Gonna try to set that there. Focus. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it. Put it in here. Okay. And for this, um, I have it set at just under three. This kind of cardstock is just a little bit thinner than the stuff I um, was using the other day. So let's go ahead and hit cut. And with the new update, it's going to show us there's only going to take us one minute to do this. So let's just start. And it's going to go down and do our test cut first. Okay. So here is our test cut right there. And I like to just lift it up and then see, does it look like it cut my mat or anything? Nope, everything looks good. So that looks like a really good setting for this. So it's going to be on this pause screen. That's going to ask us if we want to stop cutting or restart quick cutting. That's what this little button is that you can't really see. But we're going to keep cutting. Okay. So. So we're going to click OK, we're going to spit out the mat, and we're going to go ahead and lift off the negative space really gently. You don't want to pull anything. And then you can kind of bend it up underneath, or you can get your spatula out. I'm real handy, so I got my spatula, I mean I got my hand done. So there's the thing. There's the snowflake, and there's our little hole at the top that we're going to slip our, um, I'm just going to reuse this one. Oh no, I'm not. Anyways, so, you know what to do. I don't know why I have to show you guys how to put a string through. I don't think I do. I think you guys are probably pretty smart people. So there you go. So just add a ribbon, or, you know, some, um, fishing line or whatever and hang your adorable ornaments. <laughs> Bye.